much for you today. I'm gonna keep them all straight. This is going to be a cardio workout, and we're gonna do a little bit more of that boxing, kickboxing type style that we were working before. So I like this one just because these really get into the core as well as working upper body and lower body. So remember, I'm not, I don't condone any violence. We're not gonna be violent. We're just gonna get it out of our system right here, just for workout purposes. So your first move is going to be an uppercut and a hook, uppercut and a hook. So I lift up and I hook to the side. Now notice my feet. I come up on the toes and then I pivot around. Up, drop the heel, come back around. Up, drop the heel, back around. Up, drop the heel, back around. One more set. Last time right here. Good. Next one we're going to come into is a push kick. So I lift the knee and I push forward and right back down, switch sides, brace the core up, back and down. So you can use a wall, you can use a chair here. So think about almost like you're pedaling a bike. So a push kick is if I have my hands full of something, maybe you're coming in the house with, loaded down with groceries, right? I might push that door down, kick it open so we can go through. So it's that pedaling motion through, we should feel a whole lot through the core. Up and out, up and out, one more. Good, the next one we're gonna work through our core, and this one is more of a block. So I'm gonna come and block right here, block. So it's like I'm trying to avoid the punch, and I'm blocking, coming down, keep your hands up by your head the whole time. So crunch through the abs, crunch, crunch, crunch. Good, four, four, three, two, and one, okay? Next one works a lot of back and your core. So I'm gonna use my elbow to hit and I'm striking up, striking up. So hands are just right by your head and then lift and lift. So I'm gonna use the power in my legs to get them up and lift it, lift and lift. Four, three, two, one, okay? Next time we come into a back kick. So I lift the knee, kick straight back, pull in and tap down. Lift, kick back, in and down. So again, we're loaded down with groceries. Lift, press back, in and down. Up, back, in, down. This one has a slight lean forward. Good, up, back, in, down. All right, bracing through the core. We're gonna get started. We have that uppercut and that hook. We switch sides as we go through, ready? Lift, side, up, side, lift to the side. Come on, lift them up, punch them out. Yep, up and to the side. Now we should be feeling a whole lot of work through the back through the shoulders, and then we want to get into the legs, lift them up, push into the side, and then show me that pivot with the legs. Rest, okay? You gotta have that pivot into the legs, lifting up, twisting to the side, that's gonna do two things. It's gonna work through my abs, but it's also gonna protect my knees. You gotta protect your knees, okay? Second round, maybe go to a level two, increase your intensity. Lift them up, push them to the side, up and side. Lift, up. Can you punch a little bit harder? Now, when we've talked about these before, remember, I'm punching from the rib cage to the side. It's not a swing. Lift to the side, up, side. Use the legs, up, press, up, press. Good work. Come on. Lift them up, push them down. Knock them to the side. Good, one more set. Right and left. Okay, third round. I want that intensity. I want that hit on the punch. You can add more speed as long as you have control. 
Lots of crunching through the abdominal section. Good, come down into a squat. Get ready, look intimidating. Here we go. Lift, side, up, side. Fun. How intimidating can you look? I know. You're a sweet crowd. You don't like to look mean, be fierce, but you can be. Lift them up, punch them out. Come on. Lift, punch. Now, I'm increasing the pace a little bit here. You do not have to go with me. Again, I always just try to show you variations. How to vary your speed. Make sure you're pivoting. Finish left side. Man. Hopefully the heart rate's coming up a little bit, okay? This is a cardio workout, a little interval here, okay? We're gonna go into that push kick. So think of cycling through with the foot. Lift up. Push out, okay? Brace to the core, here we go. Up, out, switch legs. Knee, out, down. You're pushing away, pushing away from the side. I lean back, push. Lean back, push, okay? We're kicking down that door. Contract, contract, okay? 
okay, as we go through. And then as you contract, exhale, exhale, okay? Good, nice and strong, here we go. Dodge, dodge, come down, come down. So you're getting out of the way, but you keep your hands up by your head. Again, faster pace, more cardio. But I can also just work, exhale, exhale, breathe out, breathe out, crunch through the belly. Uh, huh, huh. Right there, nice and strong. Decrease, my back just popped. That felt good, good. Drop and drop, make sure your knees don't pop, your hips don't pop, finish left side. Good, rest. All right. We're going to go into those elbow strikes because I want to show you another elbow strike at the end. So it's going to be a crunch down, crunch down. So again, I'm working through my core. Think of striking like right along the eyebrow, down and down. Come with me. I have that little pivot out on the heel, crunch down, down. Now you need more cardio, you want more cardio, then you can stay here or crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch. So that pace will increase how much cardio goes into this. Again, as you start, maybe you just work form. You guys know I'm a big advocate on form first. If you can figure out the movements, then we can get into the power behind them and the speed. One right, finish left. So I'm going to use that power, I'm going to lift up, pull down, pull down. So now I'm working a reverse action with the legs to help pull me straight down as we work. Here we go, right side, pull down, strike, strike. Good. Right here if you need. And then think about trying to, again, I'm your target. So you can try to get your elbow right in front of my head, my face down and down and then when you feel like okay i've got that movement crunch a little bit more a little bit more and then you can start to add that pivot but you're drawing a line down my head down my face down and down finish right and left perfect all right so your final round is coming here Work into the abs, that crunch, crunch, okay? Core is tight. You are not out of control, we're not flailing. We have control, control. So if you pause in between, if that's what you need, that's what you do. Here we go, last round. So if you will give that big exhale, exhale, that will actually give you a little bit more power and it will contract through your abs a little bit more. Good, crunch down. Press, press, press. The arms are open by the face. I'm just protecting, always keeping my hands by my head. Crunch down, crunch. Good, really work through the abs. Good, give me one more set. Right, left. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go into that back kick. You can hold on to a wall if you need. Knee comes up, kick back with power, re-chamber and tap down. We're only working the right leg, core in, right here. Here we go. Up, back, in, down, up, back, in, down. Now if you want a little bit more, you can add a little squat, down, press back and up keeping the knee bent until it, the foot comes back in. Now, power back, power back. You're gonna kick that door down. Back, tap, back, tap. Good, nice and strong. Power in the leg, but I have control through the muscle. Press back, tap down. And the left leg, one more. We should feel. you on this one. That way you can see me. 
if you want, it's a bend down. As the knee comes up, press back in, straighten both legs. Here we go. Down, press, tap. Press, tap. Kick back. And then think about adding power. So I want my hips facing down towards the floor, not out towards the walls. Press, down. Press, down. Power. Power. You got it. Core is tight. Back, tap. Back, tap. Come on, push power. Power. Now it's control, so I re-chamber through the knee. Back and in. One more. All right. Now I have to re-chamber through the leg so that I'm not just kicking and throwing there. We want to be kind to the joints. We're going to do 20 and 20, okay? You've got this. You've got it. Breathe. It's hot out here. I'm starting to breathe a little bit heavier. Here we go. Core, chin, core engaged. Press, tap. Press, tap. Come on. I'll give you about a three second warning to change legs. If you feel like you need some transition time, change now. Otherwise, one more. Now switch legs. Back, tap, back, tap. Can you put power in that kick? Power, power. Press, tap, press, tap. You got it. Press back, press. One more. <sighs> Shake it out. All right. So the next time we come through, we're going back into the elbows. We're going to add a lift up this time. So now I'm going to go into the legs, press up. I'm still striking with the elbow, but I use the legs to power me up this time. Okay? Here we go. Lift, lift, lift. So I'm using the core here, but I'm also using more back muscles because I'm pressing and I'm contracting through the back as I lift up. Now that was exaggerated. It's not an arch through the back, but lift and feel that power as you come up. Lift them up. Notice that pivot on the foot. Every time we do a workout like this, I want the pivot on the foot. Lift, lift, up, up. Come on, release that inner warrior. Right, finish left. Good work. Shake it out. All right, next set. Pivot as you come through. So it's same um, foot and elbow. Lift, lift. We're gonna add a little bit more squat on this one. Here we go. Drop, lift, lift. Squat, push them up. Push them up as you pivot. Again, hands are still by the head. Lift, lift. Power, power in the legs. Come on, throw that elbow up there. Nice and strong. Excellent work, my warrior crew. Drop and lift. Now work those abs as we lift up. 10 seconds, come on, come on. You got it, you got it. Do one more. One more. And then we're going to take it into a little bit of a combo. We're going to do a few things together. We're going to work a little bit of speed. One last little push through, and then we'll pull down. All right. Toes are forward. Knees are forward. Squat down. Here we go. Power up. You're striking with the elbow from the side. So I'm coming up across the body. Lift. Now, notice where the hand comes. I'm not throwing all the way back, but I'm trying to lift, stop right about in level with the head. Lift, lift, squat and power into the legs. Power up. So that elbow before, we were striking through the, through the um, eyebrow. Here you can think of striking up on the eye. Lift, lift. Feet are going to come wide. 
It's going to be a jab in front. We're going to start slow. You've got one full minute. You can start slow. It's a corkscrew with the hands. Here we go, low in the legs. So we're going to go right here. Feel that motion. So the arms come from the side, from the rib cage to the shoulder high, rib cage, shoulder high, punch, 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 punch. It's control. So it's not out here, not like a bird. Forward, 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 forward. Keep it in tight. Now, if you want, start to add a little bit of speed and a twist through the torso right here. Twist, 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 twist. So as I punch, pinky is turning up towards the ceiling. Punch, punch, come on. You've got 15 seconds. Can you go a little quicker? Sharper, but don't snap the elbow. Come on, 10 seconds. Come on, come on. You got it, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. He'll throw the feet in. Man, lift up. Beautiful work. Number nine in our series. A little cardio, a little kickboxing, martial arts, unleash your inner beast, whatever you may want to call it. Your inner warrior. Lift up and ride back down. One more time. Good, now with all those punches and all that work we had into the shoulders, I want you to bring an arm up across. We're gonna start down low here. So I'm gonna press right above the elbow. I'm gonna push my shoulder blade back. Notice my arm comes out a little bit to the front and then I'm just gonna gently pull in. One more breath here. Good, now I'm gonna back off of the arm. I'm gonna lift up to about in line with the shoulder. The thumb is up toward the ceiling and then I'm gonna pull in more time that's going to give me more stretch right in here excellent work warriors beautiful good slow release reach up try to keep the head lifted just a little press back and a tap a little pat on the back right here so cardio we got a little more intense today maybe with it at least with our actions so 24 ounces of water in the next hour Okay, and please, 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 please don't stop there. Continue to hydrate. We've talked about this, bring it up a little more and then in before. So you're gonna take about your body weight. You're gonna divide that number in half. You're gonna transfer that pounds to ounces. And that's about how many ounces you should have in a day outside of the additional hydration we need through a workout. So on a daily basis, you weigh 100 pounds. You would have 50 ounces of water. It'll shift over into the legs. That would be normal. And then we do a workout like this and over to the other side. You would add in another 24 ounces, okay? So that would take my regular 50 ounces from one day to about 75 when I work out, okay? And I just use 100 because it was a nice even number. <sighs> Made the math a little bit easier. Good, press to the side. Again, continue to stretch as you need to, just to press down in the middle, knees away, then lift up. Inhale, exhale, one more time. My friends, it is so much more fun to work out with you than just completely by myself. 